from another stupid son of a bitch from Sunset, Utah. We came here, holy shit, I brought my Mexican friend, he was my chauffeur. Tell me he doesn't look like a gay LL Cool J, right? Like he's licking his lips, thinking about dicks, he's like... <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, my name's Kevin G, KG, Kevin Gillingham, whatever, whatever, I don't care. I'm from Sunset. The, the beautiful thing about Sunset is A, nobody's ever heard of it. B, I have a penis tattooed on my finger. C, like, we don't have shit going on in Sunset. It's a nice, quiet town there. We have a Smith's, a 7-Eleven, a laser tag, and a meth lab. Like, two more meth labs and we're gonna have to change our name to Reno. That's fucking dumb. Oh, man. What is that? $1,220. Well, I want that. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit ADD. We, uh... <laughs> so, we got off the interstate here. We got off on Flamingo Drive. And I was like, I was tripping because I didn't see, uh... I didn't see any homeless people begging for change just right off the interstate. We have that all over in Utah. But I did see a midget prostitute. So I was like, well, being the gentleman that I am, we pulled the car over, want to go check on her, make sure her well-being was okay. As I approached her, I got down on my knees because you want to come at them at eye level. You don't want to intimidate them. And I looked her right in her beady little midget eyes. And I said, listen here, yo midget prostitute. Don't sell yourself short. Uh, so dumb. It truly is the little things in life. <laughs> we'll keep the major joke short this evening. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I like to buy the delicious snack cakes, ding dongs, and ho ho's and make them touch inappropriately. I like to think the epitome of irony would be choking to death on a lifesaver's candy. They wouldn't let me bring my beer up here, and that makes me sad, because like, in Utah, we can do that, but in Vegas... <laughs> what? There's rules in Vegas? Fuck. I fucking hate children. That's, that's how a segue works, right? I, like, yeah, I can't have a beer. Fuck kids! Like, it's not their fault I hate them. It's their shitty parents, man. Like, their parents, they've got their kids in, like, a backpack, and they're, like, fucking Facebooking on their way to get their wick check, and they look up, and they see their bus, and they got to start running. They're like, oh, God, got to get to the bus. And they're like, oh, got to get there. And the kid's in the backpack, like, <laughs> and it, like, throws up, and there's vomit and blood and shit just running all over mom's tits. And it's so hot. <laughs> That's the first time the kid's ever thrown out blood. I don't know where that even came from. And <laughs> fuck. And so, but then these parents, they're like, being from Utah, these parents, these kids, they're part of larger families. They're what I like to call multitaskers. They've got like kids in backpacks, kids in front packs, kids in double strollers, babies in carabiners, just like fucking babies everywhere. And then they've got these bigger babies. They got these bigger babies, these toddlers at the end of a leash. They're like, come here! Quit having any fun! Like they're worried they're gonna break out in a spontaneous game of freeze tag or like play in a construction zone and get hurt. Like fucking whatever, dude, they're kids. You can make more. Not me, I had a vasectomy seven years ago. You're welcome, you're welcome. Could you imagine one of these sons of bitches running around? I, five abortions, zero children, a vasectomy, it's the greatest thing ever. Let me tell you guys about my stripper ex-wife. The first time, like I knew her before, like I didn't meet her at the strip club. I'm not that big of a piece of shit. I met her at a gas station, like a decent human being. And so I got her number and I texted her and shit and I was like, hey, 
what's up? What are you doing? You want to come over, get naked, be naughty, have some fun? And she texts me back, I'm not a prostitute, you know, LOL. I said, I know you're not a prostitute. That's why I didn't offer you any money. <laughs> W-H-O-R-E. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Kevin G. Joker's Gone Wild. <laughs>